When shooting in and around the box, sometimes there's not enough time to take a touch before unleashing a strike. Sometimes you need to shoot the ball on the move. And today I've got five tips to help you master your first time shooting. The first tip is keeping your eyes directly on the middle of the ball. In the middle of a match when you've got defenders pressuring you, a lot going on, it's quite easy to get distracted, but you really need to focus on the ball. Especially because it's moving, it could take a bubble, but you need to be focused on the middle of the ball because the more you focus on where you want to strike the ball, the more chance you're going to hit right through that point and you're going to have a lot cleaner strike. The second tip is don't panic. When the ball's on the move and you don't have a lot of time to react, sometimes it's easy to lose discipline in your technique and just try and smash the ball as hard as you can. But the chances of the ball landing where you want it to is very rare and you're probably gonna hit the ball over the bar or you're not gonna make a clean connection on the ball and it's not gonna go where you want it to. So make sure instead of just trying to add power, you're trying to be disciplined with your technique and know that the ball's already got momentum because it's on the move, so you don't need to generate loads of power. I like to think of a first time shot as just redirecting a pass. So make sure you're disciplined with your technique, pointing your standing foot at your target and striking through the middle of the ball. The third tip is to be slightly early with your planting foot. So typically when we strike a ball that's not moving, to get the cleanest strike, we place our foot directly beside the ball with our ankle level with the center. But when the ball's moving, if we do that, we place our foot beside the ball, the ball will continue to roll and it's gonna get caught underneath us and it's not gonna be a clean strike whatsoever. So we need to work on this, it's gonna take a bit of practice and timing, but we need to place our planting foot just before the ball so that by the time our foot meets the ball to strike it and it's gonna meet the middle of our ankle and we can be a lot cleaner with the strike. So again, it's just gonna take some timing, but instead of placing it right beside the ball, we're gonna place it just behind it so that it rolls and then we can meet it with a clean strike. The fourth tip is contact areas. So not only the area of the foot we want to be striking with, but also the area on the ball we want to be striking. So to get the cleanest and most accurate strike, we want to hit through the middle of the ball. If we hit too low on the ball, it's going to go over the bar. If we hit too high on the ball, it's going to bobble along the ground. So to get that sweet, crisp strike, you want to hit right through the middle. And if you're new to this technique, I'd recommend starting using the inside of your foot because it's the widest surface area that offers the most accuracy. And once you gain confidence with this, then switch to the laces. This is going to help you generate more power. And the fifth and final tip is make sure you hit the target. Especially with a first time shot, sometimes it will catch the goalkeeper off guard, so it doesn't need to be perfectly in the corner in order to beat the goalkeeper. The most important thing is that you hit the target. So a couple of tips to help you improve your accuracy. The first is to make sure your planting foot is pointing directly at your target. Wherever your toes are pointing, that's gonna help the direction of the ball. So even if I'm receiving the pass from an angle, I need to open up my body and place my planting foot in the direction I want the ball to go. So make sure you point your toes at the goal. The second thing is make sure we lean over the ball as we strike it. If we lean back, our foot is gonna create an angle and there's more chance of it rocketing over the bar. So we need to make sure we're leaning over the ball so we can place our laces flat against the ball and it's gonna give it more power but also make it travel flat and stay under the bar. So there's five simple tips you can use to master your first time shooting. 
And remember, the most important tip is to practice as much as you can and also practice using both feet. But before you go, make sure you subscribe to the Unisport channel by clicking the bubble over here. And if you want to learn more six skills, make sure you check the playlist down here. And if you want to get the Nike Tempo Legend 8 for yourselves, you can also pick those up at the Unisport store over here. But I'm 7MLC. Until next time, I'm out.